Hey everyone, Steph here, and today I'm here with a quick rundown about eye makeup. In general, there's going to be five things that I'm going to be going over. First one is going to be primers. Second is going to be eyeshadows. The third is going to be eyeliner. Fourth is mascara. And the fifth is going to be false eyelashes. So starting with the first topic, which is primers. So if you've seen my video on face makeup, primers for your eyes is pretty much the same thing. It's typically a cream-based substance that you can put on your eyelid, and the function of it is to create a better surface on your eyelid for eyeshadows to cling onto. They're also supposed to provide a better quality of pigmentation as well for your eyeshadows. On top of that, it should also technically make your eyeshadow last longer on your eyelid. I've used eyeshadow primers before and I personally find them to be a little bit optional. What I mean by that is that I personally did not notice too big of a difference with the primer that I had used, but it might just be that the primer that I had wasn't that great of a quality. If you have any primer recommendations, make sure to leave them below in the comments. Second on our list is eyeshadows. So this is something that people get really creative with. It's a process that I see sort of similar to painting. Different colored eyeshadows are sort of like different paints and when you put them on your eyelid you want to make sure to blend them accordingly. There are a bunch of different finishes that you can find on eyeshadows such as metallic, satin, glittery, or matte. There might be a couple more that I'm forgetting but this is the pigmentation that gives your eyelids color. This is what you pack onto them. Depending on the brand you can buy single color pot or you can buy whole palettes with a bunch of different colors for you to try out which ones you like. Third on the list is eyeliner. This one is my personal favorite tool when it comes to eye makeup. This comes in a lot of different colors aside from black, which is the color that I use. If you want something a little less harsh, some people go for dark brown, but it also comes in brighter colors, again, depending on the brand, but you can pretty much find eyeliners in any color. Another one that I like to use is a metallic gold eyeliner, which really makes my eyes pop. There are also a variety of application methods when it comes to eyeliner because it comes in so many different different forms. It comes as a pencil, a crayon, liquid, felt tip, and I believe there's also a pot. I forget the exact name, but with eyeliners you can make your eye look fairly different. You can manipulate the perception of your eye shape, which is why I think I like it so much because it's one of the most drastic aspects of eye makeup. And when it comes to cosplay, a lot of people tend to use white eyeliner on the inside of their waterline, which is this portion right here, really close to your eye, right above your eyelashes because it gives sort of an enlarging look to your eye. Fourth on the list is going to be mascara. Again, like eyeliner, this one comes in a variety of different colors, again, depending on the brand. A lot of people will use black because it pops the most, but I personally am a fan of using a sort of dark red, purple, burgundy-ish colored one. I like to use this on my lower lashes, but a lot of people recommend if you're working with false lashes to curl your eyelashes, which is a little contraption. I will drop a photo here to curl your eyelashes so that they stick out a little bit more. Then you would apply mascara to make them pop a little bit more. It essentially is sort of like a thickener that you would add to your eyelashes to make them stand out more. Fifth on the list, last but not least, is false eyelashes. This is something that I feel like is the icing on the cake when it comes to doing eye makeup, especially when it comes to cosplay and you really want to make your eyes pop. There are false eyelashes for the top row of eyelashes and also the bottom row of eyelashes, and they look different, of course, depending on which ones they are. You would apply these by putting glue along the lash band and then gluing it onto your eyelid. Like everything I've talked about, and especially concerning, I think, eyeliner and false eyelashes, these are things that really require a lot of practice in order to get used to and have a steady hand. Also, because these are products that are going close to your eye, it's important to pay attention to what your body tells you in case you might be allergic to some products. I know that I myself have developed a slight bit of an allergy to my eyelash glue, so I had to switch over to a different one. There is a brand of eyelash glue for people who have sensitive eyes or people who are allergic, so just make sure to take care of your eyes if it feels painful or itchy or anything like that look into the products that you're using and make sure you're not using anything that'll be irritating for your eyes and with that i believe i've covered just about everything for this quick rundown when it comes to eye makeup it's very much something that i believe varies from person to person because it is largely dependent on the application of it which i very much believe is connected to how often the person who's applying it practices it so with that i'd say it's a very your mileage may vary when it comes to eye makeup the number one thing like with anything with makeup is to make sure that you practice a lot eyeliner for example might seem super daunting and it might seem impossible putting on false eyeliner lashes or blending your eyeshadow might seem super wacky but with enough practice you will get better at it so if you have any more questions comments concerns let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for checking out my video hope you learned something if you're new here subscribe thanks so much again for watching and i will catch you in the next video